All right, welcome everybody. We are Sprouter. Uh, my name is Kathleen End, and I'm the Community Service Coordinator for Milwaukee Public Schools. I'm just going to share with you a couple alarming facts. So Milwaukee Public Schools currently graduates 67% uh, of their students. Of those 67% of the students, that means, oops, we're already there. Out of these five girls, two are not graduating. Out of the remaining three, only two will go on to post-secondary education opportunities. What this uh, MPS has done is try to improve career and college readiness by passing a mandate that students do 20 hours of community service to graduate. I have a problem because my teens have a problem. Right now as a community service coordinator, I need to get my kids connected to volunteer opportunities. There currently are not meaningful online tools to help get kids connected to opportunities. We have organizations who need volunteers who would love to have our students. And our school is using a paper tracking system, all of our MPS schools, to get these kids connected and tracked. We took a survey of 38 students and we asked those students, do you currently use the online resources to connect to community service? Only two said they did and they used Google searches. Why might this be? The current community service matching tools are not targeted in a socially web world that teens are connecting to. Our solution is Sprouter. What Sprouter does is it allows teens to connect to meaningful volunteer opportunities to meet that graduation requirement. It allows organizations to target volunteer opportunities to teens and have that flow of teens into their organization. And it allows school teachers to easily track the progress of their students meeting the requirement. Here's a, a live demo of the site that we've built so far. So the first page you will see is our homepage. This allows students to search for organizations by their zip code, allowing them to easily travel to and from since transportation is an issue. It also allows them to search by badge or skill level that they want to gain. And it also allows them to search by their scheduled time that they're able to meet the organization. This is a student profile page. Each student can upload pictures of them doing their service, also promoting other students to want to try it. They earn badges, and the badges are for causes and for skill development. The school can have leaderboards for individual students for different class levels, and then within the district for the different schools. So this adds a little extra competition, making hopefully students to not just do that 20 hours of service, but to continue onward. As a student searches, they're able to see the, the opportunities in their neighborhood, and then they're able to go see exactly what the opportunity includes, and organizations are better able to communicate that with their students and define those for kids. So, uh, here's just a little analysis of the organizations currently offering these types of services. And as you can see, Sprouter kicks butt. Uh, and so a shout out from Sprouter, because of the actions of my team, the goal and the hope is this will become a reality and we will actually have students graduate. Uh, we did meet with my boss from Milwaukee Public Schools today who said that this is something Milwaukee Public Schools would invest in uh, to be able to purchase for our kids. And we could also charge nonprofits to be able to list their opportunities and to get some professional development to make the meaningful. Hi, right, thank you. So our revenue model really is to get here it is. Um, so we figured if we could get schools to, to log on. So MPS is a huge district within Milwaukee, but as we grow, we could get the private schools that also have requirements. And then as we grow to different states, we could have schools subscribing, we could have the organizations, nonprofits, pay a $99 fee, they get to post as many opportunities as they want, and we go to their organization and help them think about how are you utilizing teens and what could be done better for teens. Um, we've talked about possibly band, uh, branding badges, maybe having Starbucks give a reward cup of coffee uh, when a kid gets to a gold level. 
um, possibly having donations, and then we could do a, fr a kind of crowd raiser to get it going. Yeah. I love the idea. Why just teens? I mean, wouldn't that expand your revenue model? And, and I mean, how do adults find all your opportunities? Right? Yeah, and we talked about that. I think right now we want to kind of establish our niche, and then we could spread it to college fraternities competing against each other. We could spread it to companies. We could have it go, but we really want to get good at what we want to do first. And we we built the whole tool to be completely uh, and not agnostic to any of those schools, anything like that. There's no reference to any of that on the site or in the code or anything. That's just a market we could easily infiltrate faster. We're fully open to any business or anyone that wants to partake. So the platform still has value, even if it's not a team trying to meet hours. It's mm -hmm. So um, I. In my other life, uh, ran an organization that just gets kids college and career ready, and we host opportunities for kids to connect to service. And I have kids who do 200 hours just because they want to. In our survey, actually, the number one cause for why kids do service was because they want to help people. One other thing that I I turned my portfolio to pull it up, how more cause that be. Um, but it'd be really good if you could pay to have it all summarized when you apply to college, right? Like here's all mm -hmm. the things you did for it. You could pay two, three bucks for it. And then another revenue model you might think of is um, you could, it's, it's almost like LinkedIn, right? You could pay to have the nonprofit's query based on availability. Mm -hmm. So three bucks will give you a list of all the teams you could volunteer this weekend based on where they are relevant to you. True. So how do you teach us currently validate that the children have done their service what does your tool do to address that? Yeah, currently it's a paper system. The kid takes the paper to the organization, they initial it that the kid came, and they bring it back to the teacher, they write a reflection, they have a proposal, and it goes to the guidance office. Um, our system is that when a student, they could log to say we did this hour, the organization would get an email, they'd have to validate the student actually was there uh, so that it, it automates that validation system. And eventually what we would like to do is um, link with schools so that it automatically gets updated into their transcripts and so that there's an easy system that pushes it forward. That's all the time we got. Thank you.